The following report contains flash photography. Ed Ball's announcement that Labour plans to bring back the 50p top rate of income tax has proved divisive, with even the party's own former city minister, Lord Miners, criticising it. But the Shadow Chancellor defended the move this morning and told the BBC's Mar show that Labour is not anti-business. We are um, a pro-business party. That's Th not what this, they think. Th this is not an anti-business agenda, but Andrew, it is an anti-business as usual agenda. Some business leaders have warned that increasing the top rate of tax could put the economic recovery at risk. I think fiscal policy sends a powerful message and has a powerful impact on investment decisions. So yes, personal income tax, but also corporate income tax uh, do have a significant bearing on those investment decisions. Arguments over the top rate of tax aren't new. In 2009, the then Labour Chancellor Alistair Darling announced that the top rate of tax for those earning over £150,000 a year would increase from 40p to 50p in time for the general election. But three years on, the Conservative Chancellor George Osborne brought it down from 50p to 45, allowing Labour to accuse him of cutting taxes for the rich. The Foreign Secretary William Hague says Mr Ball's proposal sends out the wrong message on Britain's economy. Ed Balls is sending the signal that if there was a Labour government we'd go back to high taxing, high borrowing, high spending and that, would, that's a, that is an anti-business, well, anti-job creation agenda. Mr Balls didn't say how much revenue the increased tax rate would generate but said it was a fair way to get the deficit down.